What's going on everybody? I'm Dom Strider back in another adventure to find that which time forgot about. Today I got my friend Andy with me and we're going to the uh, to a northern part of Wisconsin to visit the Esto uh, the Estonian Evangelical Lutheran Church there. Now, yes, this is an abandoned church, at least for the time being, it's an abandoned church. And um, so that a little bit of history on it is that it was founded in 1914. It was the very first Estonian church ever in America, and uh, it was built by a lot of the Estonian immigrants there. I believe that they immigrated due to industrialization, because uh, a lot of the Estonians back in the day were farmers, and once uh, industrialization happened in their country, they kind of, you know, fl uh, they kind of came here to kind of avoid it. But yeah, so it was founded in 1914. It ran for a good like 50 years and actually closed its doors in 1964 and uh, hasn't really been active since then. Um, there have there are attempts to actually uh, restore it back to its former glory. And uh, so it's not completely abandoned at this point because there are restoration projects on it. But uh, the cool thing is that I actually was able to get in touch with the people uh, in charge of the Estonian church and they were actually able to let us on. So they gave me permission to actually go there. So that's what Andy and I are gonna go do. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna explore the place, kind of see what's up and uh, have a good time doing it. We're on the road right now. We're gonna get there in about an hour and 15, two hours and 15 minutes, my bad. And we'll see you guys then. Okay, so Andy and I, we just got to the church. Um, we actually, it was actually pretty accessible. And uh, yeah, here we are. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing. Mm -hmm. Check out that steeple. Oh, and the rest of it. Yeah, the steepness of the steeple. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's very uh, steep, isn't it? Hence yeah. the name. But yeah, no, I mean, it's in relatively decent shape, despite the fact that uh, it's somewhat out of repair. But yeah, but I mean, they are trying to fix it, and I mean, that's yeah. kind of what that's for. But uh, yeah. yeah, so let's, uh, let's see if we can take a look inside, shall we? Mm-hmm. I mean, this isn't a very big place, but honestly, I mean, it's kind of cool about it. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those churches that uh, if you've seen a lot of like the little, uh, the little like small town churches, yeah. especially given the fact that this was in 1914. You're yeah, not you're have, right. Most of the churches and buildings of that time are True. a lot smaller. You know, keep in mind, this was, uh, this was specifically the Estonian church, and there wasn't really a whole lot of immigrants from Estonia, I don't believe, and the ones that did come here uh, settled in this area. And the reason that they did was because it reminded them the most of uh, of Estonia. Uh, same uh, thing with their home of their area. hometown. Yeah. Same thing with the Germans and whatnot. Why they yeah. came up here because it yeah, reminded most them. Eastern of, Europeans did that. Yeah, too. exactly. But yeah, no. So I guess I wasn't expecting it to be super big, but yeah, you can definitely see a lot of the restoration projects going on in here. Here's some of the wood and whatnot. There's a rake. Oh, it looks like we might even, it looks like we even got some kids toys here. I think the guy might, uh, I think the guy actually had kids when he was working on it or somebody, yeah, one of the volunteers must have had kids. Let's take a look at this pulpit here. That is a beautiful pulpit. I'm assuming that they probably restored this as well because, uh, I mean, yeah. If not, then it is very... I think they did. I think they did because, I mean, well, even then, I mean, it's still... Well, yeah, but I'm saying, like, the wood looks very yeah. well conserved. Yeah, they would have obviously had to put new wood in. I mean, keep in mind, the last time that this would have been used officially was 
over was, 50 years ago. Yeah, over 50 years ago. It was close to 60 years ago. Yeah. This is open. I wonder what's in here. Just a Up, small more, more toys. Yeah, it would have been just a small little shed or a closet. Yeah, no, I'm. This is actually really cool. Yeah. This is a really cool place to to see. Yeah, I love the. Uh, I mean, it definitely has that uh, that small uh, that small town, small time church uh, mentality to it. Or Design to, to it. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean the building mentality. You're right. Although, dude, look at this cross. Wait, is that actual stone? Yeah, that's actual stone. Well, I mean, it is from Estonia, but... Um, that was bad. <laughs> it was, it was, it was very bad. But no, like, I thought that that was actually just a print on, like, or a camouflage print on it. So I thought I it was camouflage print too, but no, that's... No, that's... It's actual stone. I can't tell what kind of stone, though. I think it's not marble. I could be granite, maybe. I'm no, thinking, not granite. No. It's some know. sort of seamed stone, kind of. Yeah. Once once again, I prove that I am not a geology expert. So, uh... Don't worry, I'm not either. Yeah, no. So if anybody knows what kind of stone that is, feel free to drop it down in the comments. I always like to learn something new. So, yeah. I well, I did already say what I think I... What I think it is. Estonian. Oh look, <sighs> got some roses, or some fake roses. Andy, I know it's been a rough couple of times, you and me, but will you accept this rose as a, I don't know, gift or something? Uh, this one, yes. The other ones, no. Besides, I think we should just remain as friends. <sighs> yeah, I suppose you're right. I guess it's just not gonna work, guys. We're just... Too different. <laughs> now, Andy, what do you think this here is? If I had to guess, um, like, what is it? The, uh, the little... Oh, that's the, probably for holy water. Yeah, the little holy water, baptism, baby Jesus. Yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah. Hail Mary kind of thing. Yeah, because, uh... Yeah, that's for holy water. Because what kind of church was this? Lutheran, not Catholic. All right, well, because... I mean, I know but, all okay. Christians do the uh, baptism stuff. Yeah, they do baptism, but here's the thing. So, I am Christian. I'm just going to put that out there. And um, different denominations do baptisms very, very differently. So, like, the one that I, the one that I go to, um, we do full water baptism. Like, you, you get dunked. All right, but, like, the Catholic Church, depending on the Catholic Church that you go to, they can just, they'll sometimes just dip it in there and, I don't know, paint your head with it. So. Yeah, and a lot of the uh, the ones that do like the uh, the infant baptism, they usually just take the kid and then just dunk them in like a couple times. Or right? even then, well, well at least the ones in the church, or sometimes uh, like that's what I mean by like full water baptism. They'll dunk the kid. At least I think that I know that's how my cousins got baptized. That's how, that's how my uh, that's how my cousins got baptized because I, I specifically remember them just. Yeah. Doing that. Yeah. And, and I it think was usually it over one of these little bases. Yeah, and I think when I was a kid and I got baptized for the first time, yeah, I've been baptized thrice actually. Um, the when I the first time I did it when I was a kid, that's how I did it. But like I've also seen it where, you know, they'll actually just take the water and just pour it over you. Mm -hmm. So like um they'll do that. And I think that might have been what that's for. Yeah. But I don't I didn't know that the Lutherans practiced that though. No, but every uh, every denomination has the belief of uh, holy baptism. water. Mm, not necessarily holy water. They believe in baptism. They don't necessarily believe in the holy water as a concept, because uh, like they believe in baptism through you know through water, but not necessarily that the water itself is holy. Like that's the ca that I know is Catholicism. And if it is another one, please let me know. I'm not going to try to make this super religious. I'm just here to explore a cool building. But I'm just kind of giving you a little yeah, bit of insight. the more you know. Yeah, the more you know. So, yeah. So, I, I recognize this from the few times that I've been into churches. Yeah. So Still a gorgeous cross. Oh, that is yeah. very beautiful. You know what was weird, though, Andy, is uh, over that whole thing, somebody, uh, somebody had a pentagram on there once. Uh, you... You want to run? You want to run that by me again? Uh, 
Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not joking here. Somebody, uh, like, before, uh, before, like, the restoration process got, like, really, you know, started getting really heavy with it, some jackass actually did, he spray painted a pentagram on this, so. What did you say? I was doing that as a joke, by the way. You can edit that out. I don't want people to think I'm an actual saint. No, just what? Oh, just, oh, just wait. What name did you say? I said Beelzebub. <laughs> if I remember correctly, he's one of like the the, <laughs> the lesser versions, anyway. But I don't know. If no, not, if you, if, I don't probably know. I'll have to ask him. Yeah, but no, if you look, and this could just be the the wear and t uh, the just the uh, the yeah. wear and tear, the erosion stuff, whatever you want to call it, but. You can vaguely make out like yeah, what there's looks one like of the a circle. Points. Well, there's also one of the points of the star. Yeah, you that's can... clearly the circle. Yeah, you can that's see. Still... Uh, like, like they they did a good job of removing most of it, but like yeah. you can, like I wouldn't have known that uh, that it was there if he didn't point that out. And um, yeah, God damn, who would do that? That's <sighs> kids, probably either that or Satanists. But yeah, or child Satanists. I've met them. I'm not joking. I'm wait, sorry. wait, wait. I got it. I got it. It was Rosemary's baby. That's pretty much it from the bottom level. It looks like that there is a, that there is a top layer. I'm going to go see if I can check it out. So I'll see you guys right. in a little bit. Guys, look, that's the American flag. In some of the pictures that I've seen of this place um, when they were restoring it is they had an American flag standing out uh, right near the front door. I guess this is what happened to it. Huh. I don't know why they kept it in here. Maybe like vandals and whatnot, but I don't know. Let's keep or going storage. upstairs. Or what? Storage. I mean, practically speaking, it's probably the easiest thing. To yeah, I mean, especially it. during like windy seasons and whatnot. All right, I'm gonna see if I can make it to the top. And look, guys, I made it to the steeple. I was uh, kind of expecting to meet Quasimodo in here, but alas, I think he finally retired. Actually, he died. Oh man, what do we got up here? That. Yeah, you can't really see very well, but actually, wait a minute, I got a flashlight. Yeah. I don't know how well you guys can see in there, but it's really not a whole lot. Yeah, just kind of the, the ceiling. Just kind of showing the structural integrity and all of that. Well, wasn't expecting to find a whole lot up at the top here, but, um... Yeah, still kind of cool. Anyway, that's uh, really gonna be it, guys. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much all there is. It is, you know, besides the amazing architecture, the amazing building itself. Yeah, it's a bit of, I mean, obviously it's a small building, but I mean, this is definitely, like you said, a place that time forgot, and mm -hmm. it's a shame that it has too, because. Yeah, because this like, is amazing. Yeah, well, if it's, it's history, it's the first Estonian church, it's. First Estonian church in this, on, the soil. Yeah, in America in general, not just Wisconsin. Yeah, but anyway, like I said, that's gonna be it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button. If you wanna see more of this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification to let you know when I come out with a new video. And um, if you have any information for places like this that I could go and explore and check out, either A, leave a comment down in the comment section, or B, send me a message through either the Facebook page or my Discord. Information for both of that will be down in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Dom Strider, and I will see you guys the next time I go on an adventure to find that which time forgot about.